The Fort Worth ISD superintendent told city council members how she is addressing budget challenges, learning losses, and the changing makeup of the student body. Fox Sports Dion Anglin joins us now from Fort Worth. Dion. Hi there, Heather. Well, the superintendent gave a broad look at how the district is changing in size, particularly. Uh, she also gave a, a more detailed look at how test scores are doing and how they compare to the national average. For the past 13 years, the number of Fort Worth ISD students has been decreasing. However, a higher percentage of the district students are from disadvantaged communities and struggling families. With colorful graphics and charts, Superintendent Dr. Angelica Ramsey at City Hall gave a detailed briefing to city leaders. We continue to have an uptick in uh, students that have the most need, so fewer students, but students that are higher in free reduced lunch, we're inching up. Uh, pretty soon we'll be at a place where we're serving nine out of every 10 students uh, that are free reduced lunch. On the academic front, the district using a measuring system that compares reading and math levels to the national average shows improvements Dr. Ramsey calls significant. Several questions followed. When it comes to strictly test scores, when does growth start, you know, becoming achievement. Dr. Ramsey responds, referring to the rate at which students are recovering from the effects of the pandemic. For some grade levels, it was nine months, 10 months, and a year of growth. So reading levels in the school district are improving. That's where we hit achievement. Last week, the district announced 133 cuts to non-teaching positions, with budget constraints made more difficult by a lack of state funding. But council members did find it encouraging that despite the dwindling number of students within the district, there are no schools currently slated for closure, with the outlook that the student count could possibly increase in the years to come. Even if a school has low enrollment today, in four to five years, it may be much higher, may double. And so we, we're not going to make quick decisions with short-sighted data, but we're going to look far out and ensure that we make the right decisions for, this, for our school district, not just for today, but for the long run. Now, the superintendent also encouraged city leaders to accomplish more toward affordable housing as well uh, for companies and corporations to pay a fair living wage uh, across the city. She says those things are vital to students getting the best quality public school education.